Well, rise and shine. It's another beautiful day. My name is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church uh, in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. And uh, excited, right? Because this is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to be glad in it. And I believe that that's the way we should wake up every morning with anticipation, going, God, you've got something great for me today. Help me to be prepared to receive all your blessings, to get through every challenge, to make, uh, to make all the right choices, amen, and to be connected with the right people. Man, today's a day I believe God's going to show his favor upon your life. We just got to be prepared and ready for it as well, amen. Praise God. Well, you know, uh, as where people are coming on right now, it's been a phenomenal, I mean, last week and now this week, just getting gooder and gooder. Come on, somebody. And, and you know, um, uh, we always talk about Tuesday being double dose of the Holy Ghost Tuesday, right? Because tonight at 7 p.m., Pastor Martin and the New Life Intercessory team is going to be gathering together on a phone conference. You can get that number. Hopefully, Lisa can put it right now in the chat, and you can get that number and join in. Okay, it's every Tuesday night at 7 p.m., and actually, pretty soon, we should be moving it into the sanctuary. That's what I'm looking forward to as well, because I know a lot of folks have been asking. So anyway, just thought I'd drop that in the beginning. I might mention it at the end as well for those that are kind of getting in just a little bit later, but uh, you guys are amazing. And I believe, listen, I believe that waking up this early every morning to be uh, on this prayer call is really an act of faith. It really is. Uh, I don't know about you, but before this COVID thing, uh, before we started doing these gatherings, right? I mean, I was not, a, I'll be honest with you, I'm keeping it real right now. I was not a super early morning person. <laughs> I mean, early to me was, you know, regular time, you know, eight, eight o'clock. I mean, I'd have to be to work till nine. So I would wake up uh, maybe around 7.45, uh, do a, a quick devotional, pray, you know, and then get a shower and, and worship the Lord in the shower and then just go to work. But man, now <laughs> I get up automatically with or without an alarm Literally, and even on Saturdays and Sundays, when I can sleep in a little bit, I'm already so used to getting up early. I just wake up, and but I love it because I get an early start on the day, and I'm able to do more and uh, and and become more. Because the more I do, the more I can become. The greater I can, more I can learn, and the greater I can um, uh, be to the glory of God. Right? To you want to be greater in, in all the, all that you do because God gets the glory. For all that you become as well. Amen. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and, 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 get, and get started. So so I've, I've entitled our, our gathering together here today. I gathered this. This is it. Um, eliminate anxiety. <laughs> that was again easy for me to say. Eliminate anxiety. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you this morning because you're such a good God. <laughs> and Lord, we just thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. And thank you for speaking us through your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Eliminate anxiety. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25 says, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. See, one of the greatest ways to eliminate anxiety is to speak kind words. <laughs> or if somebody's anxious around you, then speak kind words and it reduces their anxiety. See, you get what you focus on, so focus on what you want. Mm, drop that in the chat right now. You get what you focus on, so focus on what you want. See, so many people today are suffering from anxiety. The heaviness they feel comes from focusing on the things that they fear the things that may not ever happen, but what if it does? See, let your kind words lift their burden and restore their peace of mind. And hopefully as you're speaking to them, they'll refocus and reframe their thoughts, take the thoughts of the things that they fear, and then maybe present a different idea, a concept that would change their, their thinking, and maybe say, stop thinking about what you fear. Think about faith. Think about what you want. Not what could happen, 
but will happen but what will happen by faith when you proclaim it oh come on somebody listen we need to live more and worry less that's right. Live more, worry less. Listen, there's so many challenging things around us that if we worried about everything, we would do nothing. Listen, God's in control of your life. If you believe that, then why are we worried? <laughs> He's in total control. He knows exactly what's going on inside your mind, inside your heart. He knows what's coming ahead of you. So you know what? Trust the Lord. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered of him. When you trust him, He'll always lead you to the right place so there's nothing to worry about and there's nothing to be anxious about. And I think a lot of times, just like everything else, it's a matter of attitude as well. You know, the attitude of trust, the attitude, the mindset that comes with it. Listen, drop this in the chat right now. Check your attitude. Check your attitude. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 says this, let this mind... Or, or the word attitude, right? You can put that in there. Let this mind, let this attitude be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. See, the quality of your attitude, the quality of your attitude will determine the quality of your life. Oh man, drop that in the chat right now. The quality of, quality of your attitude will determine the quality of of your life. See, attitudes are the mental filters in which we view and interpret the world around us. See, it's that filter, that mental filter that kind of looks at things a certain way and provides a certain attitude, a certain mindset. See, positive attitude produces positive emotions. Negative attitudes uh, produce negative emotions. So resist the temptation to waste valuable time, gossiping, complaining, whining, revisiting past failures. Man, listen, don't spend time there anymore. The past is gone. The, the, don't think about all this negativity. Stop, stop all the complaining and whining. Because when you do that, you sound so ungrateful because you are. Because you're, you're complaining about what you don't have and you forget all that you do have. <laughs> See, be positive because those positive emotions will overflow into every area of your life. See, today and every day, try to focus your thoughts on the positive aspects of life. And when you do that, you're gonna see a shift around you because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Drop that in the chat right now. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I believe that's exactly what we need. Another mindset. Check your attitude. Listen, count your blessings, not your burdens. Oh, come on. Drop that in the chat right now. Count your blessings, not your burdens. Man, keep your eyes on what God is doing. Listen, burdens are everywhere. If I want to focus on all the things that I lack and maybe things that I want or just burdens of, 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 of the heaviness that comes with the problems of this world, man, that'll suck the life right out of you. That'll drain you. But I believe when we keep our eyes on God's blessing, on his favor, then man, that energizes you, amen? And that's so important because I believe that's what keeps you from burning out. See, so many people burn out because they don't refill their tank enough in God's presence. They don't fill their tank enough and they're giving, pouring, pouring, pouring out, but they're not pouring in. See, that's what burnout is. Listen, drop that in the chat right now. Avoid burnout. See, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 says this, but who, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Oh, come on, somebody. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Man, that's one of my favorite songs of all time. Back in the day, we used to sing that song. See, has the busy pace of life robbed you of the peace that you should have? The peace that should be yours in Christ. See, we get so busy, and, we're, and what happens is we're, we're pouring out and we're pouring out, but we forget to pour in. We forget to strengthen ourselves, to fill our tanks up with God's presence, to fill our tanks up with just rest and peace. See, if you're if you're if if you're simply too busy for your own good, you're in danger of being burnt out. Now, a lot of people. Uh, sometimes they see the things that we do, like 
Uh, you know, Rosa and I have a pretty hectic schedule, right? But when you do the things you love, you know, it energizes you. But at the same time, we take time to energize ourselves, you know, both individually, right? Uh, and of course, as couples, we take time away. Uh, we get, uh, we, we're just getting back from Puerto Rico right now. Actually, actually, uh, we should be getting Puerto Rico today, right? Uh, but the good news is this, is that you have to be conscious, take your temperature and say, man, how do I feel? Am I getting short with people? Do I feel about myself getting a bad attitude and maybe just looking things with the wrong set of goggles, <laughs> this, the wrong set of glasses, the, the wrong lens? And now, I, I, you know, when you're normally a positive person, you seem to be talking negative. That's when you know it's time, hallelujah, for a refill. <laughs> it's time for a pit stop to break away, fill up your tank, change the oil. Come on, somebody. Get a fresh anointing because when you're tired, the enemy works on you and, and, it, and it drains you from the anointing of God as well. So you need to be rested and strong. I believe that all that comes together and it helps us to avoid, to avoid, you know, being burnt out. See, in order to experience God's peace, you must slow down enough to sense his presence and sense his love. We have to sense it. We have to be conscious of it. And we can't do it when we're going 50,000 miles an hour with our hair on fire, trying to get all this stuff done all the time. I believe God is speaking to a lot of us today because we're just so busy, but we have to take time. Listen, that's why I always went to church on Sunday. Can I just keep it real for a second? I mean, I operate in fifth gear all the time. And if I didn't come to church every Wednesday, even before I was a pastor, before all that, I had to come. I wanted to come because I needed that spiritual strength in my life. Sunday to Sunday just wasn't enough for me. I had to come on Wednesday to get that midweek pit stop, that refill, to keep on going for the rest of the week. I didn't want to just drag the church. Man, I came to church with a bounce on my step because I kept my tank refilled. That way I was able to produce more, to become more of what God wanted me to be. And I believe that's so important. So through it all, find your pace of grace. Drop that in the chat. Find your pace of grace, that pace in your life where you can operate to the maximum without burning out and then always stopping and taking time to refill your tank, to spend time with your family, right? We don't live to work. We work to live, to live a good life, an abundant life. And we have to find that pace in every one of our lives, amen? And avoid burnout. You don't have to burn out. Man, you have to burn up for Jesus. Come on, somebody. You have to be, your passion will energize you as well and use wisdom and understanding every single day. Amen. Praise God. Listen, if you are blessed by God's word, make sure we get the word out today. Hit the share button. Let others be blessed as well. Amen. <coughs> Praise God. Come on, let's pray. <coughs> Excuse me. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you this morning. Because you're such a good God and such a wonderful God. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come in your presence with thanksgiving. We enter your courts with praise. Hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, in Jesus' name, we surrender our will to you this morning. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, help us to serve you, Lord God. To, to submit to your Holy Spirit every single day. In Jesus' name, I thank you, my God, that not only do we submit to you, Lord God, but we thank you for your provision, for providing for every single need in our lives today. And Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your forgiveness, for forgiving us, oh God, and, and, for, and for loving us the way you do, especially when we don't deserve it. Thank you, Lord God for forgiving me of my sin today. And Father God, help us to forgive others as well. Father God, thank you for helping us strengthen us and forgive other people who've hurt us, they've spoken bad about us, but we can let it go and forgive them and keep on moving in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for protecting us all day today from the moment we leave, from the moment we return and everywhere in between. And kept your angels around all of us this day in Jesus' name. 
And Father God, we thank you this morning. We thank you, Lord God, because anxiety, Lord God, can leave our bodies, leave our minds right now. We have nothing to worry about. So Lord, help us to eliminate worry, to eliminate anxiety in our lives by staying in your presence. To know, Lord God, that we can live more and worry less, that we that we can trust you with our lives. So, so if we trust you, Lord God, we don't need to worry about anything. You're in 100% control of our lives. And Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord God, and help us to check our attitudes, to make sure that we have a positive mindset, oh God, that we can go forward every day, Lord God, and see a silver lining around every cloud. And we thank you in Jesus' name. And Lord, help us to avoid getting burnt out. Help us, Father God, to continue to charge our batteries, Lord God, to be in your word, to be in prayer, to be in fellowship, to be in church, oh God, to be connected to others, to fuel ourselves with one another, with the love and the grace that you give us. And Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord Father, even today. And we praise you, Father God, for our prayer list for those that need salvation, that today is their day of salvation. Draw them by the cross, to the cross, in Jesus' name, that they will receive you, Lord God, be born again, and enjoy eternal life. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for your divine healing right now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, by your stripes that we were healed. That's your word. That's your promise. We receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, every person on our list, every person around us is being healed right now. Touch my brother-in-law, Nelson, Lord God. Touch him and heal that, that situation in his life right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I pray for deliverance for those that need to be released from bondages, for chains to be broken in the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you right now for he who the Son sets free is free indeed. And Father, thank you for healing marriages, restoring relationships right now, Lord God. Let healing happen right now. Let humility and love and grace and mercy, Lord God, be poured into every relationship in our lives, Lord God, that they'll be healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you for miracles because <laughs> you are a miracle-working God. And in Jesus' name, we receive those miracles. We believe in the impossible. We know you are more than able. You're more than willing and able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or think or imagine. Thank you, Father God, even now for divine doors, divine relationships, divine connections, oh God, that will take us to the next level. Thank you right now, my Father, for answering our prayers this day. I thank you right now for your divine favor in everywhere we go and everything we do. Give us favor today in the eyes of men. Give us favor in the eyes of those that can bless us, oh God, those that can lead us to higher places, Lord God, those that can provide for our ministries, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you for that favor upon our lives. And Father God, thank you for the strength to reach our goals, to keep our goals ahead of us, to keep our hearts and minds focused on our goals and on our dreams, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, that you are a miracle worker. You are a way maker. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're a promise keeper today. We receive that right now and we praise you in Jesus' name. And Father, we're always going to make sure, my God, that you get all the glory, you get all the honor and all the praise for everything we say and everything we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Say, put hallelujah in the chat. Put some claps in the chat. Wow, this is so powerful. Again, this is Tuesday. Come on, double dose of the Holy Ghost. Tonight, there'll be another prayer gathering, Pastor Martin and the New Life intercessory team gathers together on Tuesday. Make sure you get in there. Uh, I think Lisa will post the number for, for that conference call as well. So make sure you tap in and listen. Pray in the morning. Pray in the afternoon. Pray in the evening. Cease. Come on, never cease praying, right? Isn't that what Thessalonians 5.17 says? Never pray. Never cease. Pray without ceasing. Amen. 
Whew, man, I tell you what, I'm so excited about what the Lord is doing and so glad you had a chance to be with me here uh, this whole day. It's been amazing what God is doing. And I believe, you know, I close every gathering, right, with a scripture. And today's scripture is so appropriate. John chapter 15, verse 7 says this, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Wow. What a promise Jesus gave us. Listen, you know, if he promised it, he can do it. If he said it, you can take it to the bank. It's a done deal. So when he says, if we ask, come on, if we abide in him, if we're connected to him, he's connected to us, our minds think alike, our hearts are in the same direction, our desires move in the same way. That means we're moving according to his will. He'll answer every single prayer. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, by the way, he answers yes. He answers no. He also answers wait. <laughs> but every prayer, I promise, will be answered. Well, praise God. Well, listen, thank you so much for joining me today. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera with New Life Outreach International Church right here in Richmond, Virginia. Glad you were with me spending this time in the morning. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? I love it for sure. And you know, I pray that God's blessing upon you. As a matter of fact, let me pray right now. Heavenly Father, Bless my brothers and sisters. Bless them and keep them. Shine your face upon them, my God. Be gracious to them. Lift up your countenance towards them and give them peace. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, praise the Lord. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be prepared for this coming Wednesday. We launch the new Ignite series. It's going to ignite your passion. It's going to ignite your love. It's going to ignite the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. So make sure you're at church tomorrow. We'll talk more about that tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. right here in Walking with Walking in the Spirit. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Carlos Rivera, Pastor Carlos. They call me PC. So God bless you. Have a marvelous day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. And remember, oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. When you're walking in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. God bless you. We'll talk to you later.